Hello, everybody, and welcome to Swords and Sandals. Immortals. Demo. This is another one off the uh, Indie Fest, the next fest on Steam. All the indie games that you could ever want or see out there. Kind of picking and sifting through the ones that I find most intriguing to myself. Typically, roguelikes or Metroidvanias or, you know, pixely, amazing, beautiful things. The occasional, um, yeah. All kinds of stuff. <laughs> hmm. Let's sip on my coffee. This one is a deck builder, I think. A deck builder uh, a gladiator, gladiator game. It is the year 640 CM. Four decades have passed since the automaton's mysterious robotic aliens of unknown origin left our world. Now they have returned, pursued by a devastating enemy known as Starbound Gladiator. Once hailed a hero, he departed our world to fight amongst the stars. Something happened out there in space to turn him into the darkness. For in just 300 days, he will return to Tritonia. The destruction is his only goal. Only a single gladiator may face him in battle for the fate of the world. Why? <laughs> uh, so we're, we're, we're into the gladiator games on this channel <laughs> so far. We gotta select our species, Kragite. We got uh, Timurkin, Sishan, Z, C, Z, Ops, Kha'Zix, Shay, Ooze, Gravels, Amisha, Kiernan, Shans, Shans. It's just called a Shan. Shan. Oh, that's the name. Ha 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 ha. Halion. Halion. Glamazon. Glamazon. Like Glamazon. <laughs> Undead, Fey, Cycladian, Elder Hithian, Guntarian, Human, and Kragite. Um, let's see if it sets things up at random. I think we're gonna we're gonna play as Skelebones. We're invulnerable to poison and sonic. We have heliophobia, ten percent penalty to defense while fighting in the daytime. Uh, we have bonus to defense. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna be we're gonna be Steel Spectre apparently. All right, Steel Spectre, let's do this. You can switch. There's a other options in the full version the urine the golems the floralists sagan blobs i want to be a blob man look at that you can already kind of see it the little veinies coming through it's slightly see-through is bubbling uh hexapods back to humans guntarians elders all the original ones that we had the animation style in this a little bit cheesy but you know what as long as it's fun doesn't matter homeland pale shroud doom trek catacombs yeah where the ghoul that came from the catacombs our name is going to be um, Bobbert. Bone Smasher. There we go. Taunt quote is, <laughs> rar. <laughs> How about, uh, give me all the tacos. And victory quote is, uh, um, uh, how, how about, uh, 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 you, you suck. There we go. And we're going to be the tallest boy and the heaviest bone guy. Actually, skinniest tallest. There we go. Ah. There we go. Voice pitch. I'll make it all day. There we go. Bobbert Bone Smasher. Our character's class. We can be a warrior. We can be a priest, a rogue, a knight, a bard, a wizard. I think we'll just go flat out warrior to start just to see how that goes. You know, it's oftentimes just the... Uh, just the average go-to. Bonus strength, bonus attack, maximum total health increased, uh, devastating critical hit, does 26 melee damage. Primary stats, we got five points for that. Uh, melee damage and push, push distance. More health and health regen. Uh, hit chance would be nice. Stamina, essence regeneration, don't care about that. Uh, agility, defense, we'll get some defense. And more strength. All right, we're ready. We're in Willard South. The realm of Brandor has been at peace for some years now. You are from a generation who has known no war or poverty. But with the arrival of automatons, this is all set to change. Up until now, you have enjoyed a re relatively humble existence. Nevertheless, your ambitions soar after a wandering sage proclaims you have an unmistakable strength of spirit. and may indeed possess the metal to defeat the Starbound Gladiator. Yeah, my unmistakable strength of spirit is so strong it has bo bonded me to bones, allowing me to come back from the dead even. At the same time, he cautions you to get a taste for combat before leaping into gladiatorial career. Hey there, skeleton. Um, now, I know you want to face off against the most powerful gladiator that ever existed. He was flying from in from the stars, and I know you just came back from the dead because of your indomitable spirit and your rage for vengeance and fury. Um, but you might want to get some practice at fighting. You know, you know, you look a little, you look a little wimpy. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. You're missing all of your musculature. 
and I feel like you might fall over at the, the slightest breeze. So why don't we get you into some fighting and at least strap those things together with some duct tape. <laughs> Before you can confront any rival gladiators, however, you must first confront the reason you embarked on this journey. What drives us? Glory and power? I wish to save the world. Glory and power! The world turns and the celestial tapestry continues to weep. Before you left your hometown, the mysterious old man granted you a small gift to start on your way. What do we choose? Stars, gold, or a potion that heals us? Gold! Hamlet of this location is home of one of the great fishing communities in the realm. Generations of sea dogs, warpies, pirates, and fishwives bless the town with a distinctly fishy smell. Mmm. This has led the town's detractors to quip that Willards may sound all right, but it sure smells terrible. All right. We have to defeat the regional champion. We have not yet gone on an adventure here. So uh, how do we how do we do the thing? We just sit in camp? Okay. 300 days until arrival. So we, we have a nice little countdown, sort of like Domina has, uh, to our ev eventual demise. Hail, citizen of Brandor. I am Fight Selector 386DX of the Automatons. We know you have traveled a long way to be here. Okay. We are honored that you wish to volunteer to defend your world from the threat of the Starbound Gladiator. Know that you are but one of many who consider themselves worthy of such task, and yet only one shall be selected as the Great Sentinel. When the Starbound Gladiator arrives, the Great Sentinel will step forward to challenge him, one battle to decide the fate of this world, but that is for another day. For now, you must face your first opponent. Defeat him in battle, and take the first step in a journey that may take you to the very stars above. We will be watching closely, always. Here we go. Bobbert Bone Smasher versus Bruce the Useless. Give me all the tacos. Bruce, 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 you can do this. Uh, we got a few things that just come up here. Uh, what are what are all these things? Oh, okay, those are just the... We got power score. Tells us roughly how strong we are versus them. Tells us what the weather's like. Night battle, no bonuses or penalties. It's in the hills. And our talents. Uh, Bruce the Useless has dual wielding and born to the cold. No skills. We're ready to fight. Let's see what happens. Let's see how this... Let's see how this do. I have not actually played any of this game yet, so roll 11 or higher to attack first. We got a 7! Ow, my kneecap! So we can walk backward to retreat from the enemy, use an item, use a skill, jump into the air in any direction, walk forward, attack the head, attack the torso, arms, legs, and rest. Uh, we're gonna shoot for a leg. Stabbed! Your pants have been broken! Now you're about to attack us. I'm gonna try jumping. What, what did that do? <laughs> How about we just uh, rest? Get our energy back. We parried that attack. We're gonna attack your head. Stabbed in the face, and you've died in one hit. Congratulations, Bobbert Bone Smasher. You defeated Bruce the Useless in four turns. We gained some gold and XP. Next level has been reached. You have defeated your first opponent. Congratulations. It is an incontrovertible fact that your enemy was inferior and had no business being here today. Uh, we'll just skip that and move on. So we do have a level up. Let's see what that's like. Look at us. Yay. Congratulations. You grow more powerful. Da, 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 da. <laughs> so we fly into the stars. Uh, we're going to increase our hit chance. I feel like that's really important. Uh, select one of the talent trees. Arcane Survival Warfare Theatrics. We're going Warfare. Um, we're going to go with uh, Sword Mastery. All arm, critical mastery, dual wielding. We can't get any of these things yet. We had two points available, so we're putting it all into sword mastery. Increase the damage done and hit chance of swords by 2%. Nothing major. 299 days remaining. Hello there, friend. Stop a moment. Let's... <laughs> my name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. I see brilliance, raw power, unlimited potential. You can be the one, the one who saves us all, but not with that weapon. That blade is not fit to cut through stale bread. You are blessed that our paths should cross. I am Gil Guillaume de Longueville, son of the great <laughs> Guillaume de Longueville, Longueville, son of the greatest weapon smith this world has ever known. Before he passed into Soul's domain, my late father Louis taught me everything he knew about weapons. I will arm you. I will make you the weapon, and you will slay the starbound gladiator. All that I ask is that you allow my humble caravan to travel with you. For where you go, the world will follow. Spend your gold with me and we will save this world together. I don't know what your accent is, buddy. Uh, let's see. Back in Willard Sound. Weaponsmith is now available to us. We can go fight, we can camp, we can weaponsmith. It gladdens us all to see such a magnificent gladiator performing. 
Uh, learn skill, buy, exit counter, shop, and sell. What do you got? I have many wondrous weapons, each forged by my skilled hand. These are items I have for you today. Act fast, for I'll have new stock soon, and these will be gone. Um, swords. We got a dagger, we got a knife. Those kind of swords, or they just kind of... That says swords. Knives are not swords, thank you very much. I guess they uh, react a little similarly, but... Guns and sonic weapons, eh? Uh, we'll take a... All we have is a shank. Sell it. It's not for sale. <laughs> Fine. Buy shop items. We will buy ourselves a knife. Yeah, a fine choice. Even my father would have been proud of it. Yes. Okay. Um, now we'll go back out of the shop. We can't buy armor? Just weapons. Okay, that's all he sells is weapons. You have a skill? Barbarian sword. Charge. Leap at your foe. Enemy from distance for 32 damage. It's not bad. Switch weapon. Melee and range. Throw a weapon for 24 damage. And drive your foe back with a whirlwind, whirlwind of strikes. Have to be a barbarian or level three. Have to be at least level three. Have to be level six, nine, nine. Okay, you can see that level level things there. That's where we're gonna go do a fight. We get to choose who we want to fight based on the scores. Win four more battles. Uh, we are power score two forty one right now. Let's go against uh, Pravoslav. Pravoslav, you and me, Pravoslav. Let's do this thing. I have a disadvantage because of the weather. He has a lot of talents. We could be in over our head. We're gonna find out. All right, Bobbert. You're going first this time, buddy. We can use the skill or your strike. Yeah! You parried it. No. Oh, he stabbed us in the gut. Let's walk backward. He's falling asleep. We're gonna rest now, too. He has to walk forward. Then we're going to attack his legs. Haha, <laughs> take that. Oh no, you broke my best plate. Warrior strike. And we've won. Got you. And we've gone up another level. Nice. I'll go ahead and do our level up. I have the power. There we go. Straight up strength. Straight up. Uh, Keep making our swords better. We're looking at only a few more hundred days until arrival. <laughs> Good morning, I'm the training dummy. I've been assigned to help you become a better gladiator. You can find me milling about here anytime you wish to practice your fighting techniques. I'm your um, sentient wooden battle dummy. It's got a belly button. <laughs> so go into training. Simulacrum. That feature coming soon. Don't know what they intend with that. So we can get into a fight with our own dummy. Um, we just jump straight in with a warrior strike. You parried it, you fool! Rest. Skill. Warrior strike has a cooldown. Get your legs. Nice, you've yielded. I don't know why we even wanted to do that. To be fair, uh, do we have the right knife equipped? We do. We have noob shorts and loincloth. We got a shank. We don't uh, currently have any better items. Uh, no, we don't, we're not going to train. Training doesn't seem, feel like it does anything, maybe? I don't know. We'll go to another fighter. Wait, wait, wait. Do you happen to have a better sword? A Dirk, level three. Yes, please. Ah, uh, yeah, look at us. Got our Dirk. Look at us. Uh, we're level three now. Fresh gladiators will arrive in three days. Shops will be restocked. So you can rest if you just want to waste time. If you want to wait for other gladiators to fight. Or if you want to... Uh... Hmm. Dare we? Let's fight Tuglux. The priest. Stronger than us in power score. We're going to see how, how do it go. Bobbert Bone Smasher. Let's do this. We have a hit chance penalty. That'll be great. Okay. Hello, the two of you. Oh, no, we go second. Oh, he spun around and, like, hit us a whole bunch. Can we reach you? You dodged. Uh, I don't like it. Attack torso. Nice. 36 damage. Killed in one hit. <laughs> Fights seem to be over relatively quickly in this so far. It's not bad. Congratulations. We are more powerful again. We gained five health and energy. More strength, more attack. 
That's where we're putting like everything. Warfare, we're gonna put them all into the sword masteries. We wanna be able to hit as easily as possible, as often as possible, just to, to get those quick victories out. There you are, my brilliant gladiator. I see you out there whirling and spinning like an angel of light. And yet, what if you could hit? Oh, these rags you wear are not worthy of such a virtuoso. Yes, his voice is changing all the time. It could be the death of you. This is the very highest priority that would keep you alive. I know just the man to help. Thou gathers the armorer. Ever since the glory days of Doom Trek, he's grown accustomed to the idle life of a fisherman. I think it's time we convince him to come out of retirement. We gotta get Thargar. That well, Guillaume called me a layabout, did he? Outrageous. He has the sharp tongue of his father, and none of his father's sharp sk skill for sharp blades. Who is he to jibe at my pastimes? Is a man not entitled to fish in peace? Not with chest hair like that, my friend. And you are yet to impress me either. Back in the days of Antares, curse his name, gladiators would drop like flies in the arena, and they had ten times your skill. Hmm, you're definitely going to need the help of Thag. All right, I'll do it as a uh, debt of honor to Guillaume's father. He was a good friend. I'll fire up the forge one last time and travel these old roads with you, for a while at least. After all, someone has to keep an eye on you two daydreamers. <laughs> har, har, har. Har, har. Forge. Feature coming soon. Uh, bye. Uh, let's see. We need a helmet. Gosh, these are expensive. Cut purse hat. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> it does upgrade the uh, equipment we're wearing. Cut purse leggings. Yeah. Look at us. Yeah, that doesn't fit. <laughs> uh, game designers, uh, that, that that those pants are off center. Quite seriously, <laughs> something fierce. We'll go into another fight. We'll fight a uh, a ta on talk, the biggest, baddest mofo in this in this group. You and me, a talk. Seven a.m. hit chance penalty. Great. Here we go. Alright, rolling. We did not get it. Ow! You parried, though. Haha. <laughs> Skill. Warrior strike! Boom! Pants have been broken clean off. Now your legs are open. Oh. Ooh! You hit me hard. We're gonna rest. You have to come to us now, so. Attack the head! Broke his helmet! You hit me in the chest. I have to rest. Ah! Oh, yeah? How about I, uh. I can't. I need to rest again. We're gonna rest. You're resting as well. You healed when you rested. Not cool. Stab you in the chest. We got inspired. Do we have an item we can use? We don't. We have to rest. You're stressed, eh? Get some more sleeping in. Oh, crud! Get him on the torso. 34 damage in wave one. You messed up some of my armor, you jerk. We went up another level. Da -da -da. We have the power again. Seems like a fairly simple, uh, fairly consistent loop we've got going on here. Sword mastery. So, as far as depth goes for this game, I am not certain we are necessarily seeing a ton of depth yet, but there is some options here. There is some, there's a potential. You don't have any swords this time, you jerk. Fine. Uh, we shall go back and do another fight, I guess. Beat one more enemy here and be invited to challenge the regional champion. Let's see how that do. Let's go. Alright, here we go. Swords and sandals immortals. Nope. Didn't work. Ow! Parried. Ha <laughs> ha We'll use the big skill. Warrior strike! Big hit. Broke your pants right off. And we're going to attack you in the chest. Stab you in the chest for 38. Ha <laughs> ha. And then uh, we're out of juice. We'll walk backwards. Now rest. I'm not entirely certain what purpose movement. No. You broke my spine. What? We still had six health left. What? What? We fell down. Your day ends in defeat. <laughs> you retired to the campfire poorer but wiser. Uh, but you broke my spine clean off. Did somebody have some super glue? We definitely needed that super glue. Suffered our first loss from a critical hit, I guess. Let's get you. All right, fighting again, fighting again. 
We're significantly stronger in stats than this enemy, so we should be able to take them down. What I think I want to do, though, is try to break their torso chest majig and then use a big warrior strike. You parried it, crud! Yeah, well, I guess I have to rest you. Stop parrying me. I need to be able to get back more stamina from resting, for sure. We're inspired and calm. <laughs> Ow! Got you. That counted as a as a yield because their fatigue meter went up too high. Okay, well that's a thing. Hmm. Hmm. Um, let's see. Bias. What do we have in the way of Restplate, nothing. Shield, friggin' buckler. Costs way too much. Uh, sandals. We already have good boots on. Helmet. Friggin' helmet. Can't afford it. Can't afford anything. We're too broke. We gotta go back and fight more. Sure, let's go fight the regional champion and see what happens. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We have to fight um uh huge Charles. <laughs> All right, huge Charles, you v me. Let's see what happens. Which one of us will succeed in this? You're so short. Huge Charles is not very tall. All right, well, we're gonna start off with a warrior strike. Nice hit. Boots have been broken. So we'll stab you in the legs now that your boots are broken. Your pants have now been broken. Ha <laughs> ha, we have to rest now. You struck us in the chest. Oh yeah, we'll strike you back in the chest. Oh, parried. Oh no, our energy is way too low. Oh, we're taking hit after hit. We're getting exhausted here. I'm trying to rest. Uh, trying to rest some more. All right, and then we're gonna use warrior strike. Critical hit, nice. Rest some more. Got to keep our fatigue down. If we don't keep our fatigue down, we're just gonna die. Oh yeah. Got you with a big strike. Rest again. Our fatigue's getting too high. No, you're not allowed. Warrior strike. You have three health left, buddy. And I think we just won. Huge Charles anguished. All attacks do half damage. Huge Charles is too sad now. Oh, yeah? Ugh. We're just going to keep resting over here. I hope you don't mind. Get your arms. Haha, <laughs> cut his arm off. Huge Charles, you are armless. And we've gone up a level. So we got uh, a few things here. Bonus attack and uh, healing thimble. I think I choose two out of three. Look at you, original champion. Huge Charles has been defeated at your hands and that was a thing of beauty to watch. Listen, Dargan and I are moving on from this town. There's a world of adventure out there to be found. We're making our way to Shackleford, a larger town that's just a day's ride from here. It's no big city like Plator or Braxis, but there are plenty of fights to be had there. And of course, where, the, where there are fights, there is gold to be won and spent. Let's hit the road. Grand adventures await. We can now leave Willard Sound and travel via the overworld map. So, how do we, how do we move? <laughs> uh, I've not gone on an adventure here yet, so we could do adventure. A little time on your hands, take a wander down the local wharves and gaze out to sea. Graybeard fisherman approaches from you meekly, cap in hand. He explains to you that he has a young son who does not wish to follow him into the fishing trade and dreams of being a gladiator. Ready to file for his son's future, the fisherman offers to take you out fishing in his boat later that afternoon if you spend the morning with his boy. Yeah, uh, I'm going to let me, uh, my, my boy just hang out with a murderous skeleton. <laughs> sure. You follow the fisherman to a humble boat a little way back from the water. His teenage son gasps in wonder at seeing a real skeleton and actually is full of questions you sit down with him and after a few hours of hearing about your injuries and near-death experiences and my real death experiences the boy is suitably scared from a career of gladiatorial combat 
Much to the relief of his father, he admits to now seeing the value in a sensible life of fishing. Later that afternoon, you are sharing a hot meal with the fisherman and his boy after a thorough enjoy thoroughly enjoyable day catching fish. The fisherman produces a small wooden chest and opens it in front of you, revealing two bottles of shimmering red liquid. You recognize them as healing potions. Found these while catching oysters a little while back. Not one to imbibe strange liquids. We have no need for magic, so it would greatly honor us if you would take these as a token of my thanks. Okay. That was the only uh, quest we had there. So now how do we travel? We just double click. Okay. Setting out for Shackleford. You've arrived at Shackleford, birthplace of the great troubadour, rogue, swordsman, and legendary defender of Brander, Baron Wolfgang. Puck. A uh, pleasant, if unremarkable, land of gentle hills and farms. It is also renowned as the birthplace of the wildly beloved Shackleford Whiskey. We'll go on an adventure. You arrive in town just in time to see a great plume of smoke coming up from a large wooden stone building on Shackleford's outskirts. A sense of stench of burning alcohol hits your nose, and then you see a fallen sign burned, burning on the ground. Shackleford Whiskey. It reads, the famous distillery is on fire. No! A portly woman approaches you, coughing and spluttering. You there, she cries. This, uh, there is a priceless barrel up there in the loft. It has been aging for many years and is worth a king's ransom. I am not strong enough to hold it down here before the building collapses. I will reward you handsomely if you'll fetch it for me. Sure, I'm, I'm skeleton. I'm like all calcium. I don't burn well. Covering your head with wet rags, you head towards the distillery. The front door is ablaze, but you notice a wooden arched window to the side. The stonework up to it is rough-hewn and perfect for climbing, so you rapidly ascend and kick the window open. Billows of smoke burn your nostrils, but you quickly spot the barrel in question. It rests on a mantle all by itself and is plated in embossed silver with the mark of the maker. With a great effort, you haul it out the window and yell for aid. Two early fellows assist you in lowering the barrel to the ground and away to safety. Ever grateful, the whiskey distiller rewards you with a small bag of stars. Nodding wearily, you retreat from the flames. So stars are, uh, stars are our money? No, oh, we already get gold. So stars are something else. We'll encamp here now. Stranger, you see it too, don't you? Do ye understand the gravity of the threat we face, yeah? <laughs> there are darker powers involved. The malevolence is behind this. My late cousin Antares thought he could bargain with such powers all those years ago and it consumed him. Now the same force corrupts the mind of the greatest gladiator this world has ever seen. Should the starbound gladiator defeat our great sin, no all will be lost. Not kings, not emperors, not these automatons. None will stop him from opening the constellation mirror and inviting the malevolence in to destroy us all. I am Persinet of Elderhart. Far have I traveled in search of you across scorching desert and deep ocean. Your fate lines are strong, for they call to me. Yes, it shall be you. I will arm you with the power of my sorcery so that you may defend us all. You shall be the great sentinel. I feel like the music doesn't quite match uh, some of this game. Come hither into the eternal realms beyond the mortal sight. What can we get from you? Alchemize. We can turn stars into money. I don't know what stars uh, are good for. But we can alchemize all of them. 21 stars have become 3,000 gold. Uh, we can buy healing items from you, and that's it at the moment. Uh, let's see. Now we've got lots of cash. So, what can we get here? Helmet, pants, friggin' toga. Toga, toga, toga. Still doesn't fit. Uh, friggin' sandals. Yes. Look at my boots on my feet. Yeah, those, those shoes totally fit. 2,000 gold for armored vest. Get some shoulder guards. Yeah, we don't have any shoulder guards yet. Look at us. We're getting all tough. All tough and stuff. Do you have skills we can get? Shove. Send them flying backwards. That's, the, that's where we use the stars, by the way, is to get new skills. Flip your standing positions. <laughs> Body slam. Weapon smith. Let's see. Do you have a new sword that I want? A Spatha. Level 5. Yes, please. Look at that. We have an official, actual sword now. We'll get out of there, and uh, we'll see if we can get a skill from you. Barbarian Storm. We can do that now. We're level 5, so there we go. And uh, we'll just put it right there. We also got Yield Fight. We want to surrender. We're feeling too beat up. All right. Congratulations. You grow more powerful than ever. Do we have something that will give us, like, Essence Regeneration? That might be good. We're going to grab a little bit of that so that our fights are a little easier. Warfare. 
We can start getting the other stuff now. 289 days until arrival. Is it just me or did I see a fight kind of pop up in like one frame by itself? Um, we're strong enough here to fight any of them, so let's go against the strongest one they have. Come here, Kale. You and your soul stealingness. All right, live from Shackleford. I mean, unalive from Shackleford. Undead live. All right, we go first. We can now do Barbarian Storm. Shoulder broken. You also did it. We're just going to rest now. We have a little bit more energy. Attack Torso. You parried. Ah, parried me back. Oh, yeah, I got your arms this time. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? How about your arm again? Ha <laughs> ha! Injured. We're just going to rest a little bit here. You jumped at me, you jerk. Attack. Arm. Ow. Oh, yeah? Barbarian Storm. Uh, and then Warrior Strike. You are not doing so hot now, buddy, but we're getting tired. Parried. Headshot. Stabbed in the face, and you've dropped to the ground naked as a jaybird. <laughs> All right. Well, everybody, I think that's going to do it for this episode today. This is a let's try of Swords and Sandals and Mortals. Um, unique game, for sure. Uh, something that could be a lot of fun. Uh, might end up seeing this later on the channel, here in the future. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, hey, give it a follow or a, you know, wish list over there on Steam. And thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed yourselves. As always, continue being the wonderful, beautiful selves that you are. Remember that everything you bring to being within this universe is light and love and life. And thank you for watching.